Why should anyone care about the Bible version issue? You've got your favorite or favorites, I've got mine. Isn't that good enough? Aren't they all the same? Actually, no, they are not. That is the problem. All Bibles do not say the same thing. They disagree with each other. In Luke 2.33, the King James talks of Joseph and his mother, and other Bibles say his, that is Jesus' father and mother. But God is the father of Jesus, not Joseph. The King James has Acts 8.37, 1 John 5.7, Mark 16, 9 to 20, John 7, 53 to 8, 11, and other verses and many other Bibles omit them or mark them saying they do not belong. What do we do with all these contradictions? Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. We are left with two possibilities. One, God doesn't care what we believe. But that doesn't make sense because he holds us accountable for whether we add to or take away from his words. So that leaves number two. Almighty God loved us enough to reveal the truth somewhere in one of those Bibles. They cannot all be the Word of God. So you need to find the one that is the words of God and believe it. While you're looking, I encourage you to watch for fruit. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 15 to 16, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? You want a Bible that has the fruit of faith, not doubt. You want a Bible that the devil hates and tries to destroy. You want a Bible that has consistent doctrines about the Godhead, Jesus, salvation, faith versus works, angels and devils, heaven and hell. You want a Bible that doesn't contradict itself. In short, you want a Bible that you can trust with your heart, soul, and future. There is a Bible like this in English, the King James Bible, and the devil has worked very hard to destroy it. For the last 150 years, he has tried to sell a fix to the Bible using two Greek manuscripts that showed up. The Vaticanus that appeared suddenly in the Vatican Library in 1475, and the Sinaiticus which was discovered in a Sinai Desert Monastery in 1844. Most people have never even seen the Sinaiticus, much less investigated it and studied it carefully, including most professors and preachers. But people started trusting this document, sight unseen, to change hundreds of words, phrases, and verses of the Bible, modify doctrines, and cause doubt in those who trusted it. How could people trade their faith for doubt like that? Let's remedy that right now. Look over here. This, maybe for the first time, is all 823 known pages of the Sinaiticus right before your eyes. I made a poster of all the images that are found at www.codexsinaiticus.org so that we could see them for ourselves. These are the color-checked, scientifically photographed pages of the Codex Sinaiticus. If something changes millions of people from faith in a Bible to doubt, it only makes sense that we get to take a look at it, right? But look here. See all these white pages? These were stolen from the book in 1844 and taken to Germany. Most of the rest stayed in the monastery until 1859. See how white those pages are? After the white pages were removed, other people saw the rest of the pages in 1845 and 1850, and guess what? They said all those pages were white too. 
But after 1859, everyone said those pages were as you see them now, darkened and aged looking. What happened to those pages? Who darkened them? In 1944, famed high-level occultist Manly Palmer Hall said, For the last hundred years, we have been trying to get out an edition of the Bible that is reasonably correct. The only thing of note that happened 100 years before is a tech scholar named Tischendorf claimed to have discovered this book, the Codex Sinaiticus. Manly P. Hall wrote in other places about this Sinaiticus with the same words. He said the purpose of it was to pull people away from believing the jot and tittle of the King James Bible. Why? Because those Bible believers were standing in the way of the great world plan, one that would have to be socially conditioned from childhood, like the Nazis did, and teaching them psychology and tolerance. Does this sound silly, unusual, or fake? Check out my vlog series, Something Funny About Sinaiticus, where I show my journey. Or just read the book, Is the World's Oldest Bible a Fake?, where I also document the proof. If someone's trying to destroy your faith by presenting a Bible based on supposed ancient evidence you have never seen, is it, isn't it important that you check out the evidence for yourself? You'll be amazed at what you find. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.